rear delt flies, a great exercise for obviously the rear delts. The rear delt refers to the back side of the shoulder. Very small, quick anatomy lesson. The shoulder's got three parts, front, middle, and back. Rear refers to the back side. An often forgotten muscle, one that's not necessarily the most fun to train because it doesn't require a large amount of weight and it's not that fun to show off to your friends, but an important muscle nonetheless. Now, there are many, many ways to train the rear delts. You'll often see people doing something like this. Personally, I think it's a little bit of a not the most optimal exercise because there's no support there. So the way that we're gonna do it today is with two dumbbells and a bench. I'm gonna lay myself down on the bench so that my chest is supported, there's less movement, I can focus on the actual muscle and not focus or not have to focus on trying to balance myself. So one other distinction is that I'm gonna almost hang myself off the bench to allow my shoulders some more free motion. If I'm too far down the bench here and I'm locking my shoulder blades in, now I'm relying on some other structures to stabilize that is not necessarily helping my rear delts. So climb yourself up on the bench a little bit, kind of hang yourself over. Yes, your back is going to round a little bit, but we're not deadlifting, so it's okay. Dumbbells in your hands here, arms relatively straight, elbows locked. The important thing here is that my elbows are not going to be flexing and extending no matter which way I move them. Now, the rear delts are not a huge muscle. They don't produce a ton of movement, so we don't need to move my hands all the way behind my back. What I'm gonna do here is bring my elbows, or bring my hands, sorry, out to the sides, squeeze that back side of my shoulder, and then control the dumbbells on the way back in. I'm bringing them out, not back, and then back in. Now, notice that I'm not bringing my arm all the way up here. Just because my shoulder can move here, my whole body has twisted, it doesn't mean that the rear delt is doing any work there. So. I'm only using the, the range of motion of the muscle, bringing the dumbbells up. You feel that squeeze and come back down to the middle. Up, feel the squeeze and come back. A common mistake here would be to bring the dumbbells backwards, which are using a lot bigger and stronger musculature of the back. Yes, the rear delts are working a little bit, but they're not the primary mover there. So we wanna keep them in that plane of motion of the muscle, which is moving outwards. So you just watch a couple reps here. Kind of get the hang of it, let the shoulders move freely, keep the range of motion in the range of motion of the muscle, not of the joint. There we go. Don't forget to do these. They're not the most exciting exercise, but important nonetheless for big rounded shoulders. Good luck.